I want to address some things, my opinions about all of the controversy, all of the crap that happened in this round of the AFL. Here we go. So, to get it out of, out of the way, I am a Crows fan, and you would expect me to be like, oh, but I'm not, because I'm a realist, and I don't blame individuals who make mistakes. I blame systems that make mistakes. And the system has been making mistakes for 14 years. Every team in the AFL has been victimised by the system. It was a system that was introduced because Tom Hawkins in 2009 sparked a whole lot of controversy. People were saying, well, if we had the technology for real time, this would fix it. 14 years later, we have the technology and we still can't fix it. Over the past three days, you can definitely weed out all of the keyboard warriors and all of the media wannabes on social media or on low-grade opinion talkback radio and bad quality media TV giving their opinions about the AFL. And you can definitely see who the brightest minds in the game are. And mm, the network televisions, not so much. So what does that mean? That means that a lot of people saying the Crows have been robbed, which is incorrect because there was over 60 seconds left on the clock when that catastrophic error was made, both by human, but more so by the system. For example, even if the goal was overturned and technology was used properly and the system enabled it to be used even without human intervention, the Crows could have got the centre clearance and they might have coughed up the ball to Sydney in their defensive 50. And then as Sydney were doing all game, they would have walked right down to their forward 50 because the Crows' defensive transition sucks! And they might have got a mark inside 50. Or they could have won the clearance and got in a mark inside 50 anyway. There's too many intangibles. It was not the last play of the game, so you cannot say it was robbed. And everyone who has echoed that same sentiment that the Crows were robbed, you are a straw man. Because you don't know everything. And it really shows. So watch your back. I see you. I see you, you're all making straw man arguments. And the brightest minds in the game are making logical arguments. I am smart because I know I'm not. I listen to those who are. So I am at peace because sometimes it's better if your team doesn't make the finals. Chris Fagan, the coach of the Brisbane Lions says, you win or you learn. And a lot of clubs are going to be learning. The Crows are going to be learning. Geelong are going to be learning. Western Bulldogs are going to be learning. Essendon are going to be learning. To a lesser extent, Collingwood are going to be learning. You mean to tell me that a run-of-the-mill victimisation of the score review system is warranted of more media attention than a sorry, pathetic, nauseating, disgusting... Essendon Football Club not winning a final since 2004. The GWS cheer squad, when they assembled their banner, when they walked out on the field and trounced Essendon. GWS, an expansion team, by 22 goals. 22 goals. Holy shit. That club is in trouble. They got rid of Xavier Campbell. They got rid of Ben Rutten. Paul Brasher transitioned out of their president. And now it's David Barham. And Josh Marnie has said he's on his way out. You know who's next? Adrian Dodoro. He's going to go soon. And if he's not, what are you doing, Essendon? And as a Crows fan, I know a lot of Essendon fans. And they have been furious, they've been furious for way too long. They are a proud club, much like Carlton, and they deserve better. Carlton actually commits to rebuilds. Now you see where it's gotten them. And speaking of rebuilds, 
West Coast, why? Why would you throw away the perfect opportunity to draft Harley Reid? You're going to go at into Marvel Stadium and you're going to make the Western Bulldogs look like a clown show. Western Bulldogs, what are you doing? You have a top four list in the AFL and you're going to lose to a soy, pathetic, nauseating, disgusting and delusional West Coast Eagles on your home turf, Marvel Stadium. You're going to lose to that team as a North Melbourne fan as well because I'm one of those people that likes two AFL teams, one in Victoria, one outside. I'm so happy. I'm glad that the Western Bulldogs fucked up. Because here comes Harley Reid. North Melbourne just have to lose to Gold Coast. They know how to commit to tanking. Come here, come here Harley Reid. I can see, I can see you. Oh, you're one game away, but you're going to be ours. I'm sure you can go back if you are a Foxtel or a KO subscriber, or you can find it on YouTube or Twitter or Instagram or Facebook somewhere. Three people. David King, Lee Montagna, and Jared Whateley. They have all echoed the sentiment. The score review system is a failure. What matters most is the integrity of the score. The system is broken and it needs to be fixed. It needs to be fixed. Jared Whateley went on a massive rant about the history of the score review. And he said the biggest evidence of good technology that could have decided the fate of the Crows final season. It was the view from an iPhone camera from a fan behind the goals. The fact that a poor sucker who cannot even afford membership seats, who sat behind the goals at the northern end of the Adelaide Oval, picked up an iPhone, and that was the best angle that would have overturned it. The fact that that's not even Channel 7 property. That is not Fox Footy property. That is not AFL property. That is property of a custodian of the game. And you're telling me the fans can do better. This is an AFL organisation that wants to put the burden of good camera angles on Channel 7 and Fox Footy. This is the same AFL that is on the brink of renegotiating a collective bargaining agreement for $4.5 billion. Billions and billions of dollars. And you mean to tell me they cannot invest money in grassroots football? Grassroots football, the same grassroots football that is asking you, asking you to donate money to struggling clubs for survival. You mean to tell me that a league worth billions of dollars cannot prop up grassroots football? That is embarrassing. And it's the same embarrassing AFL that can't invest money in a proper technology system to protect the integrity of the score, the thing that matters. You mean to tell me they can't do that? I think not. That is embarrassing. The fact that an iPhone from a fan, an iPhone from the fan, is the best piece of technology. That is the gunshot that kills the AFL score review. And Jared Whateley went on a massive rant about that. And the fact he said... But the lowest of the lows is still the Western Bulldogs losing to the West Coast Eagles. That is the lowest of the lows. That says a lot. End of rant.